Hello everyone! So today I am here to do a long overdue book review. So uh, I mentioned quite a in quite a few videos a little bit ago that I was reading the book Blindness by Jose Saramago and quite a few of you requested a book review and I kind of was like I have a lot of thoughts on this book so I figured a book review was probably the best um, rather than making my wrap up really long so today I'm going to be talking about this book. So this book took me quite a long time to read. I'm not going to lie, this took me like two weeks to read and I'm quite a fast reader. Um, and I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I really wish I could have given it 5 stars, but the formatting was simply too much. I couldn't... the format of this book it is written completely in just a solid block of text with very little punctuation, no quotations, and it honestly was hard to read. Usually I would never let something like that affect my rating of a book, but this was just too much. It really did hinder my enjoyment of this book quite a lot, considering that is the only flaw in this book that brought it from a five stars. Like, I, I don't usually, like, in most cases, if it was just the format of a book, I would still give it five stars, but this was annoying enough to make me dock the half star and not give it five stars. Also, I did find out that this was Jose Saramago's choice to write it like this. Like, at first I felt kind of bad because I was like, it is a translated work, maybe it was form the format was because of the translator, but I found out it is Saramago's choice to write his books like this, and that just makes me go, okay, then it deserves to be docked half a star because if you choose to write it like this, I was I'm very annoyed by that. But besides the format of this book, this novel was spectacular, and I really hope more people read it after seeing this review. This novel follows the story of a world where blindness becomes an epidemic. I have no idea where this book is set. I don't think it ever really says. It just is a city, and it is hit with an epidemic where blindness is, like, everyone is going blind. So it starts with a man who is just sitting at a traffic light waiting to go and suddenly his entire vision goes white. Um, the difference between this and just regular blindness is obviously blindness is not contagious but also we one of our main characters is a doctor who explains at the beginning that most people, first off, you don't just go blind like that in an instant. It is a long deteriorating thing and also it is blackness that you see but these people see white. We follow everyone from the man who first goes blind to the guy who steals his car because he's blind and is helping the man who went blind and all the way to the doctor and his patients that he also infected. Um, this book is just crazy. There are so many characters, there are so many different people, and no one is named. There's no one, no one has a name, it's just simply the doctor, the doctor's wife, the blind man, the thief the girl in the dark glasses and the little boy and etc etc and a lot more characters. When this epidemic becomes cause for alarm and obviously that is spreading so quickly and obviously it is very cat catastrophic, catastrophic, catastrophic because blindness is obviously a very horrible thing to go through, um, the government rounds up all of these people who have gone blind as well as everyone they have come in contact with and put them in a uh, abandoned mental asylum and leave them there. They are supposed to be taken care of, they are supposed to be given three meals a day, they're supposed to be treated kindly, but these people are treated like animals. The blind and the infected are shot on sight if they try to leave the uh, mental wards, they are not given enough food, and they're basically treated like crap. There is a man who dies very early on in the book because he is hurt and they will not give him medicine or antibiotics or anything to stop the infection from killing him. Even towards the end of the book, women, or not towards the end, towards the middle of the book, women are having to whore out their bodies just to get food because people are stealing it. And basically, this book actually really, really reminded me of the psychological experiment. What was it called? The Stanford Prison Experiment, which I'm sure quite a, anyone who has taken Psychology 101 will have known what that experiment is. Basically, this book reminded me a lot of that. And it shows an incredible depiction of humanity and human instinct and what humans go through when faced with a tough situation. 
One of the things that I loved the most about this book was how incredibly real and raw it was. It did not sugarcoat anything. It went for it. And in that sense, it kind of really reminded me of Haruki Murakami, who I obviously love. Um, not Definitely not the writing style or anything like that, but just how real the characters were, as well as like how they didn't have names and stuff like that, and how relatable the situations were, reminded me a lot of Haruki Murakami. I also really enjoyed the ending of this book. Like literally like the last sentence just gave me shivers up my spine kind of thing. Like I just sat there staring at the last page for so long just like internally screaming because I was like are you joking that's that ending saved it. Because like honestly I was kind of going towards a 4 stars out of 5 just because the formatting, how slow it was, how difficult it really is to get into this book because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, this book is hard to get into. Um, but the ending saved it. Overall I really love this book. The format really does ruin it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't care that it is this author's way, like he chose to make this book that way. It ruins it. This book would have been probably my one of my all-time favorite books if it had been written differently. Simply, I couldn't connect to- it was very hard to get into the story, it was very hard to connect to the story and the characters, and it was very hard to just simply get through because of the format. It was very, very difficult because I need quotations, I need punctuation, I need these things to be able to read a book properly, and this just took me so incredib incredibly long to read. Um, I'm not trying to deter people away from reading it because of the format, because I definitely think this story is worth just struggling through it kind of thing. Um, obviously I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars even how much the format ruined this book kind of thing. Um, the story is worth it. The characters and the plot and everything that happens and what it shows about humanity is 100% worth struggling through the awful formatting of this novel. I definitely don't think readers under the age of 17 should read this book. Um, there is a lot of graphic violence, very, very graphic violence. There's a lot of adult themes, sexual content, stuff like that. And in a similar way to Haruki Murakami, sex and stuff like that is very much used in a violent sense. Um, and I just, I don't think anyone under the age of 17 it's appropriate for. So um, I definitely suggest that though if you're over that age and you think you can handle it, and also, you're not going to be bothered by this formatting because it really is tough. But overall, again, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed this book so, so much. I loved the plot so much. And I loved what it showed about humans. And especially, I think if you're like a psychology person or like interested in that kind of field or those kind of ideas, you will really, really enjoy this book. Especially if you thought the Stanford um, prison experiment was interesting like I did in psychology. That was definitely one of my favorite things we learned about. You'll really enjoy this. But anyways, that is all I have to say about this book. Definitely leave it down in the comments if you have read this novel or if you're planning on reading it. Um, I really hope I convinced a couple of people to read it at least, even though like there are faults with this book, but there are a lot more pros than faults. Um, I hope you guys pick it up because it is a book worth reading. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this novel. I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!